Gratitude is probably the most important life skill. And yes, it is a skill. Like a skill in a video game, it's something that we can and should level up. If you really want to feel the rewards of increased gratitude, then put the effort in. It is a very, very rewarding grind. I've been leveling up my gratitude skill for the past few months and it's actually changed my life quite a lot. I started consistently on May 12th, which is the same date that I started meditating every single day. I started with a gratitude journal. So I have it right here. Every single day I would open this up at nighttime and write three to five things that I felt grateful about. So this is a random day, Thursday the 14th of May. I'm grateful for the two short meditation sessions I have just done this morning with the sun's warmth feeling very comforting. Friday, 15th of May. I'm grateful for how natural it felt to wake up and exercise at 6 a.m. today. I don't even struggle. It is becoming more and more of a routine. That was three months ago and it is completely my normal routine to wake up and go and exercise first thing in the morning. But this isn't about that. And in fact, it's not even about the gratitude journal. This video is specifically about the gratitude letters, writing and sending them. And so in this video, I'm going to be explaining the one month over July 2020 that I spent every single day writing and sending a gratitude letter to someone in my life. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'll also explain why I stopped doing this as well. But first, let's just start with what my life was like before my gratitude training, so before May 12th. Now, start of May, I actually took a course called The Science of Wellbeing, and that is actually what got me the motivation to start this grind. And it's actually what got me the motivation to start the mindfulness practice that I've been doing every single day. Fantastic course, watch it if you haven't already, but they described the massive benefits of gratitude. And so this course did a whole lot of research. It was pretty much a meta-analysis, like it looked at a bunch of different literature. It's found to be more important on your happiness and fulfillment than marriage, a good house, a good job, money, good grades. All of the things that we strive for are actually less significant on our happiness than gratitude. And the fact that you can improve gratitude by grabbing your notebook and literally just writing down is crazy. So before I started training my gratitude skill, I wasn't a grateful person, like, at all. It, it would never really occur to me to be grateful. And I actually don't think I'm one of those people who are naturally grateful for things. I never felt grateful for my parents. I never felt grateful for my education. The only one thing, I, I say this a lot, but the only one thing that I was kind of grateful for that I was, you know, I've ever done before was my consistency in weightlifting. Just the five, six years that I spent in the gym was something that I was grateful for. And I was thankful that me, past me, had been consistent and had this dedication that got me to where I am today. But apart from that, I was grateful for nothing. And when I felt the least grateful about things was also when I was the least happy and I was the most depressed and I would cry the most. And now I'm the most grateful that I've ever been in my life. And I'm probably the most happiest. Definitely, I'm definitely the most fulfilled in life right now. The smallest things I feel grateful for. So that brings me then to the point of this video, which is specifically the gratitude letters. All right, so how have I actually done this? Now, every single day I would just date the top of my notebook and address this letter to someone. So the first one is to my mom. The second one is to a friend. The third one is to an old friend. The fourth one is to an old friend. So they're, they're to family, friends, people in my life. So every single day I would just write their name like to Ryan and then write a few paragraphs about what I felt grateful for. So actually, yeah, let me read you Ryan's. To Ryan, thank you for being so welcoming the first time we spoke when I'm not going to say the teacher's name, uh, made us sit together. We had a laugh instantly. I'm really grateful of how inviting you were. It was like I was part of the group straight away. You were a very quality friend in my life. Just today, me and my mum were talking about you. The time you walked me back to mine at like 2am. You always had my back. I'm very grateful for that. I'm so happy I have all those memories of us. All the cheat days we used to binge eat peanut butter cups and salt and pepper chicken. Good times, my bro. I'm grateful to have you in my life. I wish you the best and really hope you feel so damn happy in life. That's kind of sweet, isn't it? <laughs> so I wrote one of these every single day 
Then what I would do is take a picture of it and send it to whoever it was addressed to on social media or something. So for this month, I actually did go back onto social media for the, the sending of the pictures. But just sending it didn't really seem like enough and my handwriting's not that great. So what I, <laughs> what I would do is send it and then also take a voice note of me saying it. That made it seem so much more personal and people seem to like it. So I, I sent 25 of these, I believe. And I think 24 people replied. One person didn't reply, but that's okay. Uh, every single person seemed grateful that I was grateful for them, which is actually the interesting, cool thing about gratitude. When you increase your gratitude, more people are grateful because you're grateful. And obviously when someone else is grateful for you, it's the same cycle. So, so you've made, you're grateful for someone that makes them grateful for you. If they're grateful for you, then obviously you're grateful for them. It's a, it's a very, very positive cycle. There's no negatives. There's no hidden downsides to this. Gratitude is genuinely just a very good skill, a very good trait to have in your life. Grateful people are attractive. Grateful people are the type of people you want to be around. And great. And being grateful, actually feeling happy about the smallest things is how at least I want to live my life. Since I've been getting more and more into this, because even though I did this for one month, I've been practicing gratitude for like three months now. The smallest things are so much more better. The, a hot shower, I, I literally had almost like a life-changing experience just looking into the shower nozzle and just thinking how lucky I was to have a hot shower. I wrote that in one of the earlier journal logs actually. Oh, here it is. Saturday, the 28th of June. I feel grateful and look forward to the warm shower and peng breakfast I'm about to have. I just realized how weird it is that those two things are completely normal to me, but there's actually real people who experience life without these luxuries. A warm shower and a home cooked meal is a luxury. I'm grateful I have that. I'm going to be sure to value these simple things more. And since then I've been enjoying showering more. I literally treat it as not like a rush. I'm even grateful for bad things. I've been uh, discussing with some people who are probably watching this right now in the comment sections below about just being grateful for bad things, being grateful for negative events. I, I even commented to someone and told them that this is something I consider a superpower is experiencing something negative and straight away thinking, how can I be grateful for this? That is, ah. Oh, that that's what I'm trying to build up and maybe it doesn't seem so special like just thinking that but if you get into your gratitude training and you start getting that kind of thought where you think how can I be grateful for this bad thing that happened I swear to god it is life-changing so what were the people's responses like that I sent these uh, letters to uh, like I said so every, every single person replied apart from one person and every single person seemed grateful that I sent them every I'll have maybe potentially a few screenshots right now of people I'm guessing wouldn't mind if I like share their responses. I wanted to say that it's strengthened my relationship with the people I sent it to, but honestly, that's not really true. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the, the relationships I have with most of the people I sent it to are just old friends. And so we don't see each other much or we don't talk much just because we're not the same anymore and we're not hanging out every day we're not in school anymore so I can't really say it's strengthened our relationship but what it has done has I know for a fact it probably just brought a smile to their face and it brought a smile to mine and they seemed happy that I sent it to them so I think it's quite a humbling thing to say to you know to admit like a lot of these I've actually said like people brought out my confidence uh let me see there's one guy so an old friend of mine Oh, actually, I've mentioned, so for the, the true fans who watched the entire uh, self-improvement video, the one and a half hour one, uh, I talked about my gaming friends in it. And so there's one gaming friend here who I sent the letter to on Wednesday, the 8th of July. I'm grateful for our memories together. I'm glad we added each other on Skype to team up and we ended up playing together for years. We started our friendship as boys so long ago and now we're men. It's been so long. You hold a special place in my mind when I think about video games and online friends. I'm glad we became friends. Thank you for all the Hunger Games matches and being in my old YouTube videos. <laughs> Hunger Games was the Minecraft server that we used to play on. So how do I feel now after a whole month of sending these? 
the the first few that I wrote were truly uncomfortable and awkward. I started this on the 1st of July, but in fact, the first gratitude letter I ever wrote in my life was a probably a few weeks before that in June. I wrote one to my dad. I wrote it out, cried like twice when I wrote it out because it's just not something that we like do or we talk about. We don't have, do you know, like an, do you know what I mean? We just don't really... And so I wrote it out, just saying, like, thanking him for everything and gave it to him. He teared up a bit as well, pussy. <laughs> and um, honestly, that, that mo I, I say a lot of things are life-changing, but that moment was life-changing. That uh, The inspiration to give my dad that letter of gratitude came from a different online course, a what's this one called now? A Life of Happiness and Fulfillment by the Indian School of Business. They were talking about gratitude as well. And so the little challenge in the course was to write one to someone important to you and give it to them. I was going to skip it. I feel like most people when they saw that challenge would have skipped it because it is well and truly uncomfortable to write these. But do the hard and comfortable work even when you don't feel like it. That's how motivation comes. That's how reward comes. And I'm so, I'm so grateful that I wrote that gratitude letter. So then I, I mentioned at the start of this video that I actually stopped writing these letters and it's for a good reason. So my last one is dated on the 25th of July and I haven't wrote another one since. And the reason why is because this as my sole practice of gratitude wasn't great. It was, you know, it was good. And it was improving my gratitude and, you know, my relationships and speaking to people. But focusing on just people in my life meant that I was just recalling memories and stuff, which is pretty good. But I missed when I was journaling the, the smaller things that I would savour, you know, to later on I'd come and write down about the cup of tea that I had, the, the warm weather. And I feel like that was probably more beneficial internally to me. Journaling, being grateful for the smaller things like that, the random things that happen throughout your day, I found was a better practice. But I stuck to this for a month and I'm happy that I did. So now I don't even do the normal gratitude journaling. What I do is gratitude vlogs. This is my own idea. I have never seen anyone else do this before. So I'm pretty sure I am the pioneer of making gratitude vlogs. I've got my old phone here. Well, this is like my phone that I record on and I've got a new phone that I'm recording on right now. So also I might not be keeping this phone that I'm recording on. It's an iPhone XR. Hopefully is the quality better? Let me know. It's like the same resolution and stuff, but apparently it's supposed to be better, but I couldn't really tell a difference. So I was like, I'm just going to sell it, just stick to my good old trusty phone anyway. But on my phone here, I've got gratitude vlogs, 17 gratitude vlogs here. Hopefully you can see that. So here's the first one that I've recorded. I could probably just have this like playing in the screen, but like... All right, Saturday, 18th of July, first ever gratitude vlog. What do I feel grateful for this morning? My athletic performance, commitment and dedication and the results, the achievements. So every single day I've been taking one of these videos, a few minutes long, just saying something I'm proud of, something I'm grateful for. Uh, pretty similar to the gratitude vlogs, but this time it's just in video format. I haven't actually sat through and watched them yet. I was going to do that. Like, that's a pretty good thing, you know, like reading back of the things I'm grateful for makes me smile. So potentially watching all of these would make me smile and re-emphasize the gratitude, gratefulness for the thing that I'm talking about. Tuesday, 11th of August. Today, I'm grateful for the bike ride that I went on. But, um, so I actually like this gratitude vlogs. It feels like a very modern way to train your gratitude. So I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Now, I know the self-help, the self-help, the self-improvement niche is just full of people who watch the content and then just don't do anything else. And then you see videos of people saying like self-improvement doesn't work. No, it does. You just, you have to do it. Stop watching the videos, do the work. I'm giving you an idea right now and I would actually be proud of you if you at least attempt this. And it's not hard to attempt, get a piece of paper, write three things you're grateful for, grab your phone, record yourself and say three things you're grateful for. Maybe don't do the letters just yet because that's like a bigger jump. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard and uncomfortable to write and send the letters, but it's easy to grab a piece of paper and literally just say two things, three things that you're grateful for. 
you don't have to send it to anyone and even when you don't send it to people you'll get a benefit from please if you're watching this and you you consider yourself a fan of mine do not be like one of those people who just watches the video and then clicks on the next one and then the next one and then before you know it you've just wasted four or five hours on youtube like that's the complete opposite thing of what i wanted from people who watch my content try the stuff i'm saying try this and let me know how it goes that's it take care and also let me know if the phone is better if this camera right now is better than my usual one